After three months of traveling in Mexico, it finally happened to us. That's right. We got pulled over by the police. This is a super raw encounter. We just let the cameras roll and we want to know from you guys, how do you think we handled the situation? Let us know in the comments below, even if the cops handled it properly too. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can avoid this entire situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> Been telling me I have COVID. No. Yeah. Hola, amigo. Hola. Uh, oh, Paco. Es ah, Paco. Es simpatico. Come on. Si. Uh, Senor, can you come here? I have COVID. At this point, the cops are like pointing at me and telling me, let's go get out here, even though I'm no telling them I have COVID. I'm waiting in the car for Frankie to get back. I have no idea what's going on, but they're telling Frankie the reason that they pulled him over. Mm -hmm. They were trying to tell me in Spanish, but I couldn't really understand all the language that they were saying. So they used Google Translate to tell me what was going on. Mexico City has laws in place to limit pollution that only allows certain cars to drive on certain days of the week, depending on their license plate. As it turns out, even though they couldn't see our license plate when they pulled us over, they already decided that we were driving on the wrong day. Yes. I asked the policeman, like, how did they see this? But you'll have to wait till later in the video to actually see what they say. So I think it's something about our license plate and like the days of the week and Mexico City and whether we're allowed to be driving or not. At this point, Alex is in the front, I'm in the back, trying to figure out what they want, and they tell me how much money it's gonna be, and it's a ridiculous amount. He's talking about I only have like 200 pesos. Obviously, we're not trying to pay this huge fine, and we were trying to explain that we had no intention of going into Mexico City. He's like, I have no dollars, I only have a credit card. 200 pesos cash, which is actually true right now. We have like no money. But like honestly, where is the ticket? Where is the... Basically, we're not supposed to be driving right now. Uh, because it's not our license plate. But we're going past Mexico I, City. I understand that, but they're saying that we're in Mexico City now. But did you tell him where we're going? Yes, I told him we're going 30 minutes away. And he's like... Can I, can I see the thing? The map? Yeah. Yeah, he said I could pay the credit card. So how much? A lot. Fuck that. So then let's just drive out of here. We thought the rules only applied to the actual Mexico City proper, but apparently as soon as we came into like the general Mexico City area, the rules are enforced. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to get over the city no and they just didn't yeah. seem to care. Um, we thought that, like, we thought that it was only for Mexico City, and we're not going to Mexico City. We're staying outside of Mexico City. As we crossed through this toll booth, we didn't realize we were entering, and then he's showing me on a map that we're in the area where we have to have this specific license plate in order to drive this day. So then let's turn around and go back to to Pee Pee. Uh, uh, no, it's 
foreigners and extranjeros. At this point, the police officer is like getting frustrated with trying to use Google Translate. They were super nice, but. He then has a buddy on the phone, which he says is like the commissioner or like, you know, Their his boss. boss. But I don't know how realistic El this jefe. is. It felt like that they were calling a friend that could translate for us. They were like, this is the only guy that I know that speaks English. Here you go. So they passed the phone to Alex. I don't know why the phone got passed to me. I'm actually grateful that they passed it to you because I feel like you were like, I'm sticking to my guns. I don't care. Uh, hi. Hi. Good morning. We're from the United States. We're heading to the pyramids in um, San Martin de las Pyramides. What is our problem? We're, that's where we're going right now on the phone is explaining to me that if we had drove after 5 p.m. or if we had drove a different day of the week that we would have been fine. From 5 o'clock to 2 o'clock? So at 2 p.m. in the afternoon we can drive? Can we go around like a long way? So in my mind I'm like okay I'll just sit in my car and wait till 5 p.m. A ticket for no, I don't, a ticket for what? The car is from uh, Florida. Florida? Florida is the phone, is where the car is from. He proceeds to ask Alex if we got a ticket and then he tells Pardon? us no ticket and that we don't have to go to the station either. And what I had heard previously to coming to Mexico was that if they uh, give the option for giving you a ticket or paying them there versus going to the station, okay. sometimes if you tell them that you want to go to the station, mm -hmm. you know, to clear it all up, they might just let you go because they don't want to like deal with the hassle of that. Mm -hmm. so but I say, okay, let's go to the station, so and today, he's like, no, 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 no station. Like we're dealing so with So Friday this is now. no problem. Today is a problem. Okay. Okay. So, so we'll try tomorrow. I'll just park right here. They have not given us a ticket. Have you given a ticket? No, not yet. No. He told me I could pay it here if I want, but I don't have. No ticket, no problem, police. No ticket, no problem. Okay. Well, how much is it? Seven thousand pesos? No, so we just won't go today. We just are not going to drive. We'll just wait till tomorrow. At this point, he's like trying to feel us out and like see how much money we're willing to pay. Okay, so we go to the police station. Pardon? They're here. Yeah. We don't have that. No tango. No, no, we, no, we didn't pay anybody. We don't, we didn't pay anybody anything. We don't have that kind of money. Yeah, the police are right here. How much pesos do we have right now? Like 200 pesos. Yeah. In dollar zero. After the whole situation, we actually looked up how much like a ticket like this should be and it could be anywhere from 100 pesos to like 2,000 pesos, maybe even says 5,000. But they were trying to charge us 7,000 pesos. So they went way over the amount to see if they could get us down probably to like the highest amount.
it's not it's the the last number on the plane. They didn't even see the flight when they pulled us over. I think when you're foreign it's uh, just uh How did you see our plate? You didn't even see our plate when you pulled us over. Now, now I, I mean, I don't want to pay anything in pesos. I'll turn yeah. around and drive now tomorrow. Ah, okay. uh, si. 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 What? To pay the car? I don't want to pay 350 US dollars to be able to drive today. I'm not, I, I'm going to turn we around, I would like to leave my car until 5 p.m. and then I'll drive. Correct. Or I'll drive tomorrow. Uh, what if we parked until 5 p.m. and then we then... No dollars. It's mucho dólares. That's the problem. I would, I don't want to pay 2,000 pesos. In a hot second, he dropped it from 7,000 to 2,000, which is kind of ridiculous. If you were talking to a police officer in North America, they would literally just hand you the ticket and walk away. Here but you go, sir. here in Mexico, we can negotiate a police ticket. I'm not gonna, no, 2,000 is too much. Es mucho. No tango mucho dinero. So at this point, hilariously, he says, oh, that's okay. We can put you on a payment plan. It'll be 100 pesos a month until you've paid off the full amount. Why would we do that? Absolutely not. We will we'll wait until tomorrow. Mañana. The problem that we have is we don't really have that type of money right now since we're traveling. The car is going to stay and with the police? Also, is that what you're saying? Uh, we, this is our house, so we have to be in it. I'll stay with the car. This is our house. My car is, all, is, is a house. It's a caravan, a like an RV. Uh, <laughs> He's saying 1,000 pesos, we can go to the pyramid. For, it went from 7,000 to so 1,000. 1,000 pesos, and it'll let us go. Espera hasta mañana. We agree to 1,000 pesos with the officer, as you heard over the phone. But then the other officers, you could see like they're disliking it. You could see him like shake his head no. Like, no, it was supposed to be 7,000. Like, how is it? A thousand pesos now. So I feel like that they felt like they were getting worked over by the guy who was like having the conversation with us. Yeah. See? That's what he said. He said seven thousand. Then he said like three. Then he said. He told me one thousand. I said I don't have money. I'm not paying that. I mean, realistically, this is fucking bullshit. I know. I shouldn't have stopped. No. What the fuck? At this point, the video dies. Obviously, it had been on for a while because we were sitting there for a long time. The police officer had a credit card machine on his person to be able to swipe it. Cause we're obviously, we don't have this kind of like dinero cash. So he's like, no problem, swipes it on his credit card and we're good to go. I should have really like took a photo of his phone to see like if I could translate it later and see if it's going to like the police department. Who knows? I mean, they were obviously dressed as police officers. Yeah. As far as we know, they were official. Legitimate. 
and they were super nice too. They were smiling the whole time and whatever. But to go from seven thousand to one thousand felt mm-hmm. like. You know, okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna pay the fifty dollars US just to get the heck out of here. I truly wonder what would have happened if we'd been like, you know what, we're not paying and we're just gonna stay here sitting in our van and you could wait till five o'clock and then we'll drive away. We found out after the fact that you can actually get a tourist permit that allows you to drive in the city on any day of the week. So if we had had this piece of paper in our dash when we drove through Mexico City, it would have been absolutely no problem. And that piece of paper you could have it say seven days, fourteen days, or like 365 days. It and depends it's free. on where you are. Yeah. I think the only qu- criteria is that your vehicle has to be like newer than 2015 or something like that. Probably to keep up with admission standards. Yes. But we could have literally avoided the entire situation if we had just got that tourist pass before we drove into Mexico. Should we have paid the money? Should we have waited it out? Did we do the right thing? Did we negotiate well? Could we got it even lower? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out along this journey of nine countries in nine months. Guatemala's next, but first, we've got to actually explore Mexico City now that we're allowed to drive there. A huge thank you to all of our Patreons who makes it possible for us to make more mistakes. No! I didn't do my research. <laughs>